What's up everyone? Just got the new Samsung refrigerator and just want to briefly go over the features on the actual touch display that you may have questions about. So really quick, you can press on any of these buttons and it will enable and disable some features like Ice Maker. I'm going to turn it on or off, just press it once for off. Another time, Ice Maker's on. Lighting, press it once, the lighting will stay on permanently at all times and if you leave it off, it'll only turn on when you're actually using the Ice Maker or getting water. To change the temperature on the actual fridge, you can click this once and you'll see that you're lowering the temperature. So I'm going to stick here on the right hand side. Now if you hold the Ice Maker Off button feature for 3 seconds, it's going to enable the actual lock. What does this do? Locks the fridge essentially. Nothing will actually work. So you can't get ice, can't get water. In the flex zone control, you can't even change the temperature of your settings because the lock feature is on. So to disable this feature, Hold on the Ice Maker Off button for three seconds, and it's going to allow you to get ice, get water, change the different temperatures, and basically unlock all the features of the actual fridge. So to turn between Fahrenheit and Celsius, hold on the lighting for three seconds, and you'll see it change. Now, power cool. What is power cool on the fridge? I'll tell you, hold on to it for three seconds. That means if you had the door open for an extended period of time, the temperature has gone up substantially, turn on power cool and it will cool the fridge as fast as it can. Same thing goes for the freezer, power freezer. Hold on to it for three seconds and it will actually freeze the freezer as fast as possible. So if you're trying to be energy efficient, I don't ever recommend having these features actually on. Uh, the alarm, you can basically enable and disable it so if the door is open I'll make a chime to let you know the door is open. Uh, to the filter reset so everyone knows where the filter is. It's right here. So if you change the filter, hold on to the alarm for three seconds, it will reset your filter. It's got a reverse osmosis system in the actual fridge. Very nice. And then energy saver. This is a really good question here. What is the difference between having energy saver on and off? You think obviously for efficiency, but what actually changes when you have the energy saver enabled? It's the outside of these doors. They are heaters on the outside of these doors that prevents condensation. So when you have energy saver off, the doors will get warmer and will prevent condensation. So this is good for areas like down south where it's really hot. If you're in areas like up north, Midwest, Michigan, Ohio, you really don't need to have that energy saver uh, disabled. You want to basically keep your energy saver on at all times. So if you really don't care about condensation on the outside of your doors, just leave energy saver enabled and if you notice that there is condensation and you're really getting annoyed with it you can turn it off and basically the door will actually heat up because there's again heaters on the outside of the doors that prevents water buildup that's the only difference all right well enjoy your fridge thanks for watching the video